the first step is coming up with a story. Um, and it can come from uh, a producer, an associate producer. It can come from me. It can come from Don. Uh, it can come from any source. Um, and once someone pitches it, for example, if it's a producer who says, uh, here's my story idea, and I, I think uh, this happened uh, with these planes that were shot down uh, over Cuba, and uh, these people have put in money for uh, compensation, um, and they've been compensated for this, but there were already 5,000 people who had put in claims for compensation. Well, how did they get to the front of the line? Uh, so you write that down in a, what we call a blue sheet, uh, which is submitted for approval by Don and Phil and, and Betsy West, who's the vice president in charge of 60 Minutes. Uh, and if it's approved, you then have authorization for a research budget. So you can travel and, uh, and start researching the story. Uh, if you come up with enough information, um, and characters, and, and characters are all important in what we do because you can't tell a story without someone to tell it. I don't tell the story. The characters in a 60-minute story tell the story. Um, if you come up with the story and the characters, then you can start to shoot it. And once you shoot it, you know, you, you shoot this much and then you have to narrow it down to, to that much. Um, and it's a, a process that can take a lot of time. It can take months. Uh, or as in the case of a story I'm working on now. I mean, we shot most of it last week. And in six days, we're going to put together an hour, um, which I wouldn't want to do on a weekly basis, but uh, every once in a while it's fun. Um, but you. You sit down and you start making a rough cut, the producer and the editor, um, and, and I'll look at it and suggest changes. Uh, I tend to be more of uh, a rewrite person than a writing from scratch. Uh, I let producers write, and then I sit down and rewrite. And with some, I rewrite uh, a lot more than with others. With, with some, there's a word here and a word there, you know, sentence structure change and, and very little for me to do in terms of rewriting. Uh, with other producers, I tend to do more rewriting. Uh, and when I'm satisfied with it, uh, we'll show it to Don. And then he takes over and uh, he will inevitably make changes. I, I, I don't think I've ever had a piece where he didn't make any change. I've always told my producers to give me as much as they think I need that if you have a question, does he really need to read this? Uh, if you're questioning it, the answer should be yes. That I'd rather read more than less. I'd rather know too much than too little. I'd rather be overprepared than underprepared. Um, there, there was a famous college basketball coach at UCLA, John Wooden who won, I think, nine or 10 consecutive championships. I mean, he's unmatched in his profession. And Coach Wooden always had these slogans. And one of them that I remember that always impressed me was that, this is talking about preparing for a basketball game, and you could use it for anything, whatever it is that you do preparing for life, is that failing to prepare is preparing to fail. So I always wanted to be prepared for what I was doing because I didn't want to fail at what I was doing. So I'd rather have too much than too little. Uh, and I basically read uh, everything there is, and if I have questions about it, I'll talk to uh, the producer, associate producer, researcher, or to people who are involved in it if I need to get some more information to get a better understanding of what the story is about, to talk to somebody who's involved in it. Uh, and once we've done that, then I'm ready to sit down and start doing interviews. My job is to put someone in a chair and get them to talk and tell their story. Uh, 
as if there are no cameras, no lights, not seven people in the room, just the two of us sitting there talking. That's my job. 